In this video, I'm reacting to Ray and his Suyan, the CDY. Fighting, Sprint, EX support, EX Raw support, I mean, EX Raw strike. The same as uh, Akari, right? I think. I really forgot. Week 2, flying, okay. Fighting, C no main character, Scarf. Okay, HP. That is very good attack. Actually, well, really, oh, it's very, very good attack. Defense, defense, okay. Speed is also good. Okay, first passive. Survey Corpse Teachings. It's literally the same as freaking Akari, right? <laughs> when I saw same plus 4 attack plus 3 crit. Okay, I guess. S move team 3 moves next 9. Oh, 3 move next effect to all allies when you sing for the first time. Oh, not even the first time, it's whenever you sing. Okay, that's pretty cool. He already has very good speed, so even more gauge management. Nice. So, turn out 1, okay, so guarantee crit. Yeah, literally the guarantee crit because. You already max crit from the first passive, right? So yeah. Oh yeah, triple arrows is the initial move. Critical, critical hits learn more easily. 50% chance to minus 1 defense. Yeah, 3% chance to finish. Pretty good. Gauge boost? Wow, that's a lot of gauges. I guess that's... I guess... I guess sprint sync pairs is more for like... Gauge and sync countdown, I guess. Triple arrows barrage. That is not a BP, 250. In all opponents as well. The visual condition is when your team single pay uses a sync one time. When this move is used. Okay, so you can only use this once every sync turn. Right, because you have to sync to use this move. But then once you use this move, you cannot use it anymore unless you sync again. Okay, makes sense. So, it, so this move will always crit. Minus 2 defense, and then flinch. It's a guaranteed flinch. Wow. Guaranteed flinch. It's AoE flinch. That's pretty good. And it's like a. It's also. Uh, the spread damage will not be reduced as well. So. Yeah, if you hit 3 targets, usually the damage should be half. But. With this move, you do 100% max damage, regardless of how many opponents you hit. So that's pretty cool. Our hearts are 1. Minus 1 single now. Plus. Uh, you max speed to yourself. Plus. Uh, applies back super effective up next plus two physical monitors. Okay, I think like crazy, but it's nice, I guess. Face time traveler triple arrows. Oh, so yeah, it has the speed multiplier, which you can easily do. You train the move, you can make speed, and yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. I think it's gonna do big damage, both sync and uh, yes, very, very good, right. A lot of gauge stuff with Moon Gauge Boot and then the second passive also free gauge when you sync, right? And then good DPS with both regular move and the B move. And B move having 100% chance of flinch also is very very strong. That's more than sync grid. 1 out of 5, you get life. 2 out of 5, you get quick cure, natural remedy. Okay, haste. Okay, MPR 2 for trainer move, no. Brawling, healing one, so you heal when you attack in fighting zone. Okay, faster gauge in fighting zone. Catalyst, okay. MPR2 for mortgage boost. Uh, whatever. Super desperate. Apply super with the arm next when you are low HP for the first time. Yeah. On the row 1, okay. So, for guaranteed chance, a guaranteed defense debuff with the first. Your triple arrows, right? That's good. 3 out of 5. Engine 9, okay. Even more gauge <laughs> stuff. Hit start 1. Okay, is it even needed? Actually, maybe maybe you can use this because you can minus one sync on no training point, then minus one again. If you bring another sync point, another sync point, I can. Oh no, this is good because you minus one from trainer move, right? Minus one from the first passive, and then you minus one here, so you skip the entire turn. Okay, that's pretty good. And then bronze sync five. Okay, multiplier good. Berserker two. Oh yeah, you don't have max max attack. Plus 4. Catalytic Cure 9. You can heal yourself. Heal 20%. When you use Book Age Boost, might be decent. Insult to Injury, that's good. And that's all. 3 out of 5. We only have one sim multiplier, that's pretty sad. 4 out of 5. Aggravation 1, okay. 60% chance to flinch. Slippery Sidekicks 2. Plus 2 advantage to all the allies when you use Renewal. Okay. 4 out of 5. Trip. Twice nine minus two speed minus two speed. So if you use this, use, if you use the B move, right, it becomes AOE debuff, right? So that's good. And then mighty command nine plus physical one X when you uh use remove. Okay, yeah. So always three out of five grid. Let's see damage. So we get bronzing five here 
and that's the only multiplier which is pretty sad. DPS we have suicide to injury and that's also the only one. That's pretty sad actually, but yeah. This one it is. Okay, we have this for full damage, full sync. If you use it as sync nuclear, which you can, if you have EX roll, right? Because the EX roll is striker, so you can AoE. So that can work. And then if you have 6 type EX, then you can, you know, manage the same condom. So let's see, I'm expecting some good damage from the TPS. The nuke should be decent also. Actually, maybe more than decent because this attack stat is very strong. And yeah, this is only one multiplier. Okay. Oh no, yeah, this is only one multiplier. This is, is excluding the the innate one. The innate one, this one should be multiplied by 2, so like 37 k which is, which is pretty good damage. DPS is a, a bit low for a 4 gauge move. As a standalone, if you don't take into account the gauge, then it's not bad. This one definitely good. And it's AoE. And the damage is not reduced when you hit multiple targets, so that's very nice. Now we max speed for the... um Yeah, the 7 k The nuke is good. Very very good. DPS also good. Now the thing is, she can debuff the defense. Which is nice. Let's say you get into plus minus 3 defense first. Yeah, whew. It's just minus 3 defense, this thing becomes 220k. And the uh, multiplier isn't even maxed yet. Very very strong. Remember, this is also this AoE. If you max debuff, whew, this is actually very good damage. Holy crap. This is very very good damage. Hey, reminder that it's AOE also. The regular three player is also not bad. Yeah, his B move is strong. And remember that you can flinch. Okay, you can flinch. Guarantee crit. So that's very strong. It's only once per C move, but I think that's yeah. I think the damage is justified for only once a same turn. And then let's see, what other builds can you do? Let's, if you do like a more supporting supporting DPS maybe. It's a bone DPS and insult to injury is nice. Okay, even a fast start one if you want. Right. Maybe MG9 for gauge management. Or normal one for debuff. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, nice form was more supporting one. More gauge. Doing some good DPS and debuff also. Or maybe you can change to this one. So you have four. Eight energy. Okay, you can take one more. Maybe a catalyst. No, I don't think you really need much gauge stuff because, you know. You can gauge a lot already. Well, whatever. Super desperate can work if it's on type. So you just take whatever. And yeah, I think it's pretty good. Very good sync pair. Strong DPS. Very, very good DPS with defense debuff. 30% chance to flinch with triple arrows. Guaranteed chance with the guaranteed chance to flinch with the B move. And it's minus two defense AOE. Remember it's AOE. AOE minus two defense with B move. Minus one defense to one target, 50% chance only. Now, if B move is obviously a lot better. And then bring to the max speed to activate innate uh, multiplier is good. Have having move gauge boost is nice. I guess I think it's a bit of a waste to start the move gauge boost because speed is already very good. And then he also has a second passive with which gives free move next to air or allies when you sink for the first time. Not even the first time, any time. As long as the pseudo is the one who sink. And then next crit can plus four attack. Guarantee crit on sync and yeah, the only thing you need is just plus two attack and I think everything else I don't think you need any more support other than fighting zone, I guess.